When you hear the news that the Dow Jones was up 100 points, or that crude oil futures were down $2, it's easy to think of those price moves in a linear fashion. A straight line from the open price to the closing price. What you don't often hear is how extreme those markets were up or down during the day to get to those final prices. That variance, or volatility in the price over time, is crucial for a trader to understand because it represents the potential risk or profitability of a market. Although technical analysis is primarily concerned with when to enter and when to exit a trade, a study of volatility can also help you choose what to trade by comparing symbols for a risk-reward profile that matches your trading style. Volatility is another one of those core concepts that traders need to master. One way to describe market volatility is that it is essentially a measurement of risk and opportunity. Volatility is generally calculated based on prices moving up and down in either direction relative to the normal price action over a period of time. There are different ways traders can measure and quantify volatility. One way to measure volatility is to start with the range of a bar. Range is the price movement from high to low on a single bar, or as a formula, high minus low. In order to take price gaps into account, traders use a more robust calculation called true range, which also takes into consideration the close of the previous bar. By averaging true range over some number of bars, we can visually chart the volatility of any asset historically. This indicator is called Average True Range, or ATR. When the ATR indicator is trending upward, volatility is increasing. And when it is trending down, volatility is decreasing. If you think of ATR as the potential for price movement, you can apply these values to set profit target or stop loss order levels. Traders have applied this ATR concept in lots of creative ways. A popular ATR-based indicator is Keltner Channels, which uses ATR to project support and resistance levels from a moving average. Keltner Channels can provide a number of useful indications. As a support and resistance tool, prices tend to pause or reverse at the Keltner levels. But if prices break out from these levels, it can also signal a new trend. Look for consistent patterns and levels in Keltner that may better help you react to the current price action. The Bollinger Bands Indicator is another popular volatility-based indicator that uses the standard deviation calculation. Bollinger Bands uses standard deviation to project support and resistance level from a centerline moving average. Both Bollinger Bands and Keltner channels look very similar on a chart. Bollinger Bands can help traders determine if market prices are stretched too high or too low relative to average prices, and is generally used by traders to help identify a reverse in the current trend. When prices first hit and cross above the upper Bollinger resistance band, traders will watch for prices to reverse and cross back under the upper band for confirmation of the reversal.